Hello, I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. We have written about and talked about and interviewed people the idea of the very important event of being born. That's certainly something important for each and every one of us. The mechanics of being born, however, is what I'm referring to. Whether a child is born by cesarean section versus being born vaginally, very important, it turns out, because passing through the vaginal birth canal inoculates a child, anoints a child, if you will, with various uh, types of microbes that form the uh, seeds of his or her gut uh, microbiome. But it turns out that new research is revealing that uh, the placenta may actually uh, help to form a newborn's uh, and child's ultimately microbiome. We've had this notion that the womb and the placenta were pretty much sterile and didn't really play any important role in terms of transmitting microbial information uh, to that new person uh, being created. But in a new report just published in the journal Nature entitled, Could Baby's First Bacteria Take Root Before Birth? A really interesting uh, idea has been explored uh, since uh, 2011. The researcher is Indiria Misorekar, and uh, she looked at the placentas, I believe, of 200 individuals and actually through some very sophisticated uh, new technology has been able to identify various organisms that are actually quite common in the placenta. Meaning, interestingly, that there is this microbial interaction with the developing human embryo that seems to be uh, going on. What it actually means in terms of creating that uh, individual, I think certainly remains to be seen. That said, uh, I think moving forward that will be explored and ultimately ideas centered on what a mother can do to improve her placenta flora uh, may in fact uh, be something that is considered. Uh, let me read to you a quote from the Nature article and I would urge you to link to the article because uh, there is actually a video interview uh, with the researcher. But here's what the article states, if that is true and bacteria are a normal, perhaps even crucial part of pregnancy, they could have an important role in shaping the developing immune system. Scientists might be able to find ways to shift the microbial composition in the womb and possibly ward off allergies, asthma, and other conditions. Uh, they might also be able to uncover microbial profiles associated with preterm birth or other complications during pregnancy, which could help illuminate why they occur. So hard to imagine what the technology is going to be that will allow us uh, pre-partum to uh, and analyze uh, the bacterial uh, constituents of the placenta. But that said, uh, you can bet someone's going to be working on it. And uh, as the uh, Nature article talked about, this may really give us a leg up uh, in terms of very, very early intervention to really accentuate uh, the health of the newborn. So really interesting stuff. The science related to the microbiome is uh, certainly uh, evolving day by day. And, you know, our mission is to keep you on top of that science. So thanks for joining me. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. Bye for now.